Hello, it's Miriam from Blind Forest Tarot here at Blind Forest Books in Sackville, New Brunswick. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, my partner is a huge Toronto Raptors fan, and so he suggested that I do a reading looking into what's going on with Pascal Siakam, who's been um, seeming to have a hard time lately. <laughs> so basically this reading is going to also be an example of what a past, present, future reading from my Etsy shop looks like. So you'll see that when you get up reading with me, it tends not to stick to the allotted cards. I tend to uh, end up pulling more cards than usual. Like for this one was a three card tarot reading and I ended up with six tarot cards and tons of oracle cards as well. So readings with me are a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> but yeah, this will also be a look at what when you get a reading with me, if you're feeling like you're kind of in a funk, what the advice will kind of look like for getting you reoriented with yourself. So Pascal, if you're watching, uh, he hasn't asked me to do this reading or anything. So it's kind of just for fun. But if you are watching, uh, I hope you're able to take something from this. And yeah, it already indicates that you are on track to feeling better. So looking forward to delivering this and showing you all kind of what an actual reading for somebody looks like. But yeah, the decks I'm using are Field Guide to Garden Dragons. Uh, bring in some of that raptor energy. <laughs> Black Moon Astrology cards, which I like using to get an astrological picture of what's going on when you're having kind of a dark night of the soul. Wisdom of the Oracle. Wanted to get some raptors red and purple in here. <laughs> Um, life purpose oracle cards to see where he's at in terms of feeling connected with that and the star spinner tarot yay so let's get right into it the first thing I've been doing for client readings lately is looking at the cards that split the deck because these are a really important um, initial picture of the energy surrounding what's going on so the first cut card is number 23, Peace. So he has been incubating. 23 is a number of challenge. So he has been having a hard time staying connected with personal balance and energetic flow. So he's been, uh, whether consciously or not, going into incubation mode, pulling back a bit because he's got some inner healing that he needs to do to feel okay with life in general. Mm -hmm. So our next cut card, I found this one really interesting. It was a really consistent theme as I was, was shuffling. Uh, number seven, Jupiter, abundance. So obviously as a professional basketball player, he is quite well off at this point. He's achieved a lot of success that made a huge change in his life. And he's just figuring out how to persevere with um, maintaining the balance between uh, receiving all this abundance and, you know, continuing to live your life under all this kind of increased pressure to maintain that vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious he's under a lot of pressure. We could have known that without doing this reading. But the next cut card is Garlic Dragon Boundaries. So again, whether consciously or not, he's been putting up all these walls to protect the healing that he's trying to do. But that's become kind of repellent and people are thinking that that kind of stinks of him to do. But this is an important part of his personal proce process and his own sort of spiritual development at this point. And so the next cut card is practice. And that's been everybody else's helpful advice is that he needs to be sort of doing more to get his head back in the game. But this shows that he really already knows that. And so he doesn't really need to be told, even though it's hard when you're on the public stage and everybody's sort of has all eyes on you. But yeah, practice is key, obviously. <laughs> Get back to it. But the, this one kind of broke my heart. The final cut card is the Emperor Reverse. So he's not feeling like himself as a man, but he's fully aware that he needs to nurture himself back to feeling uh, in control of what he's doing. So into the shadow cards. <laughs> So the underlying theme of what's going on with um, Pascal and kind of fouling out a lot and stuff <laughs> is number 39, air element, communicating. So this is kind of, again, whether conscious or not, a bit of a cry for help. He, need, he needed a pause almost. He had to sit out from a game recently because of the way he responded to being fouled out or whatever. But yeah, he is, he needed that. <laughs> he needed to slow down. He needed to be forced to stop in a way so that he could 
think. Our next shadow card is number 44, Thinker. So he's been doing a lot of thinking about how to re-stabilize himself. Uh, four is a number of protection, of stability. So the universe is kind of supporting what's going on with him because, again, he needs to think about his priorities right now. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yes, because the next shadow card is Cantaloupe Dragon Realign. So he is in the process of reconnecting with what makes basketball so sweet for him. He is aware that he needs to realign his energy and he is working on his personal patterns and gaining the perspective he needs to reconnect with his goals and ambitions and literally get his head back into the game. So our next shadow card is Builder. Uh, his innate ability to build and create brings him a deep sense of accomplishment. So he does love his work. He does want to keep building his career. And again, he is just nurturing himself at this point because our final shadow card is the king of coins, the king of pentacles reversed. So we've got a rabbit on here reversed. So again, his overall sense of virility, his masculine energy is feeling dampened and he is doing some important healing while well, he has to do it pretty rapidly but <laughs> he's doing it he knows that that's what he needs to be doing right now yay so into the main reading the oracle cards for pascal the cards from life purpose two came out together are justice and study so he's figuring out what works for him um, there's a huge theme throughout this reading of him being focused on balance at this point and just learning a lot from what he's been through um, there's a strong sense that he's feeling very cut off from his support system because the cards from Wisdom of the Oracle are number five, orphaned. So feeling very alone, very left out in the cold. Um, the pressure from the community is probably not helping that. <laughs> But uh, number 46, Regeneration, is the other card that came out from that. So against the odds, uh, him feeling pretty isolated. I suppose they're all down there in the NBA bubble, so they're not seeing their families and things like that. So he is feeling very lonely and alone, and that's got him feeling really down. But he's working on it. He's trying to pull himself back together. He's trying to rise from the ashes. And he's exactly where he needs to be in his personal process. So the cards from Black Moon Astrology cards, the cards were so talkative about this. It's fascinating. But we start with number 32, Eighth House, Endings and Beginnings. So he's going through a really important personal transformation. And again, unfortunately for him, we're all watching it happen on the world stage. <laughs> but number nine, Uranus, Genius. So this is the sort of lightning bolt that he needed to um, make a totally new start. Um, he is holding a little bit of like sort of rebel energy. But again, he is trying to innovate uh, with what works for him and his energy. He's learning a lot and he is healing. So our final card from Black Moon Astrology cards is number 16, Cancer, I Feel. So I get the strong sense that, especially with this orphaned card, that there's actually a personal relationship in his life. I don't get a particularly romantic vibe from it. But uh, a connection with a female or feminine energy, it could be a mother or aunt or something or a close friend support or something. It feels like there's something going on in that relationship that he some degree of communication in that relationship is kind of blocking him. And that is rippling out in his performance in his career. But that's that's just what he's doing. He needs to be processing this because it's really important for um, his own continued evolution. As a person. <laughs> but the final oracle card, the one from Field Guide to Garden Dragons, is Starfruit, Moderation. So again, he needed a big scale back. He needed to slow down and stop and lighten his load a little bit at least so that he could reorient himself to his goals and what makes life sweet for him. Aww. So the tarot cards, <laughs> the past. What has he come through? What has he already learned? So it's the high priestess reversed. He knows that he needs to um, pull himself out of the shadows. He knows that he needs to tap back into his skills and abilities. So he's already done an important part of the deep inner processing that he needed to do to get back on track. So that is a really positive sign. Um, they have a game actually today after this video. <laughs> But yeah, so he'll be playing again, and it could be even that today that we see him actually having bounced back, because the main cards, the present energy surrounding him, 
is the sun and the two of pentacles. So it's interesting, actually, after I pulled these cards, we were watching an interview about him and somebody asked him, oh, I wish I could remember the specific phrasing, but he's actually been focused on trying to play with joy. So it's interesting that we have the sun here because the present energy around him, he is trying to find the happiness. He knows that he is you know, a light in the community. He knows that he is a beacon of like hope for all the people also trying to get through the pandemic. And so he is already focused on regaining his balance. He loves his career. He really does. He doesn't want to leave it behind. There's no indication of that in these cards. He's not trying to like drop out of the NBA or anything like that. He just needed to get back to himself and reconnect with what makes him happy. So it was probably really important, actually, that he was forced to sit out at that game the other day because he's just recalibrating and reconnecting with what makes him happy about what he's doing with his life. Oh. So <laughs> the future, Woo! the direction things are headed. What's Pascal's best advice moving forward? And we had three cards come out for this one. The first one is the three of swords reversed. So yes, do protect your heart, Pascal. <laughs> you have some decisions to make uh, and you know that already. And the biggest part of those is going to be just maintaining your balance, especially your mental balance so that Again, literally, you can get your head back in the game. But the middle future advice card is the three of wands. So that is an energy of communication. We had the air communicating card as a shadow card. He knows he has something to express, um, probably to that actual person in his life. And he is um, circling around what he needs to say. And so that will lead to a really important breakthrough for him. And our final advice card is a really nice one, especially for someone who's having struggles with their career, and it's the judgment card. So that's the next step after the sun. So he's reconnecting with what makes him happy about his work and ready to step, step back into his calling with like a capital C in a much bigger way. So he's already headed towards finding the balance that he needs to step back into the game, <laughs> to step back into his own fortune, and to actually double up on what he's already been doing. So he's already mentally preparing for a huge comeback and so our job as his fans and his supporters is to believe in him and to yeah just trust that he really is um getting back into action yes we're so proud of you <laughs> so the higher self cards what is pascal's message of hope moving forward now we start with number 33 ninth house faith so I love that. Have faith in yourself. Um, we have faith in you. Uh, realize that everything you've been learning through this process, this dark night of the soul has been so important and really is helping you deepen the map of your personal understanding. And yeah, 33. So yeah, you have been learning everything you need to know and you are stepping back into almost teacher mode. You have taught yourself what you needed to know and you're teaching all of us how to bounce back against the odds. Thank you. So our next higher self card is number 34, a leg up. So I love 34 after 33. So there's such a theme here of like everything being happening in order that needed to happen. And now what Pascal needs from us is this support, this belief. Uh, he needs a leg up from the people around him. Uh, he needs much less judgment because he's already judging himself hard enough. But one way or another, he's headed towards getting the support he needs to uh, persevere with this cool life path that he's chosen for himself. Amazing. So our next higher self card is Avocado Dragon, Patience. And it's really interesting that, especially where this is happening for this reading is being done for a public figure, that I got the strong vibe from the higher self cards that these are what the collective need to be sending to him. So we have Avocado Dragon, Patience. So he's still ripening. The best is yet to come for him. And what he needs from his community is patience as he comes around. And yeah, ripens into this smooth, lovely thing that we all like. <laughs> so our next higher self card is sensitivity. Yes. So there's such a theme of gentleness. There's such a feminine energy in here. So I feel like actually correcting this thing in this personal relationship is really going to help him feel like himself again. But he's also just in a process of admitting to himself what 
is conducive to his environment and what's not. So he's in a personal moment of flushing out toxicity in his own life. And so unfortunately, again, it's happening on the world stage. So we're seeing what happens to a person when all their toxicities bubble up and force them to stop. Usually we get to do this on our own time, but he's being watched by the whole world. But he's listening to that. He's doing what he needs to do to clear his energy and get back to himself. And so our final higher self card is the Two of Swords. So that's fascinating where we had the Three of Swords reversed, which points back to Two of Swords energy. So very much he's moving towards a time where he makes a huge decision that has to do with speaking his mind in some way. So I get more of a sense that this is happening in his personal relationship. I don't get the sense that he's going to decide to like leave basketball or anything. He's just going through stuff in his own head. And again, we're watching it happen. So we could all be a lot more supportive. We could send prayers that he's able to push through this, um, sort out what he needs to in his own life. But we can also realize that there's such a strong theme that he is aware that he needs to pull it together. And he's doing that on his own. So, whoa kudos to him sending so much strength for that difficult process and it really looks like he's already on track towards um bouncing back having a really cool comeback maybe even tonight in tonight's game so wow i hope you found this video interesting uh, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me do uh leave that in the comments uh remember to subscribe like the video um share it if you think other people would be interested in my take on what's going on with our lovely pascal siakam of the toronto raptors yeah <laughs> if you're interested in a personal reading with me check out my etsy shop the link will be below you can also follow me on facebook and instagram for a uh, little daily updates about my personal journey, cards for the collective, things like that. And yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, keep your hearts open, keep your eyes on the skies, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye!